What is going on everybody, it's Stas here, welcome back to another video. So in today's video, just like always guys, we're going to be breaking down the overall market's performance today on the 17th of May in 2019, going through the S&P, the Dow, the NASDAQ, we're also going to be doing a trading update, what did I personally do today on the 17th of May, and we're also going to be talking about some other stocks and ETFs that did very well today. Others that did poorly, most of them did poorly to be completely honest with you out of the ones that I personally track. As you can see, the watch lists are completely red here. And that's it, guys. We're going to get into those topics. But before we do, for everybody out there that finds value in these videos, you enjoy the content, feel free to go down below and hit that like button. It really supports me and supports the channel in general. And if you want me to talk about a specific stock, a specific ETF, drop a comment comment down below on this video and on Sunday's video I'll most likely get to it if I personally see potential in the stock or ETF that you comment and on Sunday's video I typically go through 10 to 15 stocks that I'm seeing value in and others that you personally shout out on Friday's comment section which is today's video that you're watching so get in on that guys drop a comment or you can just leave a ticker symbol in our call out section in the discord group chat that works as well so without further ado let's just dive right into it let's hop right into it guys the S&P 500 ended up closing the day today down nearly 17 points down about 0.58 percent at the close here the Dow Jones Industrial Average down about 100 points right now, down about 0.38% at the close of the market. And the NASDAQ, guys, down about 89 points, down 1.17%, right at about $7,500 right now for the NASDAQ. So today's market was kind of funky, right? If we're looking at the S&P, it, it was kind of a roller coaster, right? We popped up. We were actually green for some portion of the day today, right? For this portion right here, we gapped down a little bit, we consolidated, we popped up aggressively, and then we ended up selling off. So it was kind of a up, down, up, down, up, down kind of day today for the entire markets, right? And if we're just judging on some technicals here on the S&P 500, let's go to the 20 day one hour very quickly. And we can see exactly Kind of what I was talking about in yesterday's video is playing out right now. Remember in yesterday's video, I was talking about the resistance here under the 180 SMA on the 20 day one hour chart, that being a very strong resistance. Well, we ended up getting rejected there again today. We ended up pushing down. We're at a lower high right now from the previous and the trajectory of the S&P that I have drawn out here by this trend line, it's still pretty much intact, right? This is something that I personally believe the S&P could end up doing in terms of a pattern, especially if it breaks this 50 SMA support here on the 20 day one hour. And by that, I mean, you know, if we break down here, we could be doing something like this where we're selling off. And if we're going on the longer term charts here, do you guys recall in yesterday's video, a potential, uh, I said that there's a potential head and shoulders forming on the SPX. We can see that trend line here again, right? We're noticing again, we saw on the 20 day one hour chart, the resistance under that little trend line and the 180 SMA. And if this does end up playing out, this would be the right shoulder of the head and shoulders pattern. And from there, we might be testing that same support at around $2,800 that we tested a couple of trend uh, trading days ago, right? And by the head and shoulder pattern, I mean, take a look at this guys, the left shoulder, the head here, and this could be the formation of the right shoulder and from here, we may be selling off to the support. We may break it. We may bounce off that support. But all I'm saying is this is looking like a formation, the beginning of a formation of a head and shoulders pattern. And on the 184 hour chart, we're also noticing uh, a resistance under that 50 simple moving average, right? We're noticing the 50 simple moving average resistance here 
Pretty strong resistance, to be honest with you all, from the uh, price movement over the past two days. If we're going back to the 20-day, one hour, again, we're under that 180 SMA resistance. On the five-day, five-minute, it seems like we're breaking a 180 SMA support here. That's been a support over the past couple of days. We noticed the gap down here, the consolidation this morning on top of that support. The pop-up, this is actually where I ended up taking my trade today. And if you all watched my video from earlier today, today talking about four ETFs to trade during a volatile stock market environment. I talked about the trade that I took, but if you guys didn't watch that video, I highly suggest you do watch it after this video. We'll talk about that trade, of course, in this video as well. We pretty much bounced on top of that 180 SMA, and then we ended up selling off aggressively at a lower high from yesterday's high, and we ended up closing on a downwards swing. So that's the SPX in a nutshell right now in terms of technicals here. The Dow Jones Industrial Average, not as bad as a day in terms of percentage as the S&P and in terms of the three major indexes that we talk about on this channel, the Dow actually did fairly well, right? We saw the NASDAQ was down about 1.1, 1.2% today, and before we do get to the NASDAQ, the Dow right now is trading under the 180 SMA resistance right here, which we talked about in yesterday's video that, that the candlesticks, the index was struggling to get out of that resistance. Today, again, we were struggling to get out of that resistance. And honestly, guys, if we get rejected here and we start to sell off again, maybe we have a couple of red days, you know, this could be us heading towards the next support, which at this point point is at around $25,500. We're still trading in between this $25,500 and $26,200 range on the Dow, that 700 point range. That's where we've been over the past couple of days and Nothing's really changed, guys. We're still trading in that same little range. And if we're going here to the 20 day one hour, we talked about in yesterday's video how the Dow in terms of the 20 day one hour is still trading in between the moving averages. It's not trading under like the S&P, but it's trading between the 50 SMA and the 180 SMA. So at this point, you know, for us to understand the price action and where the Dow is headed, we're going to need to see either a break out of the 180 SMA resistance for a potential upside push or a break of the 50 SMA support right down this way, right? If this down, if this little downwards move continues, that would be a downwards push on the Dow. And at that point, again, we'll be retesting 25,500. If we break that level, you know, that can be us really just heading towards another lower low, maybe testing 25,200 where we were a couple of days ago on the Dow. And if we're hopping on here, the five day, five minute, we're noticing the 180 SMA support, just like the S&P 500 on the five day, five minute ended up being broken today, right? We gapped down, we consolidated on top of it. We held it had that nice little run in the beginning of the trading day, ended up consolidating here a little bit, sold off, popped back up, got rejected, and then heavily sold off, broke the 180 SMA support, and that's pretty much it as of right now on the shorter term basis of the Dow. But the fact that we did break this 180 SMA support here, that does raise some red flags to me that we might be selling off on Monday here, guys. Not to jinx it or not to try and predict anything, right? But if the futures, especially on Monday pre-market and let's say Sunday, you know, after 6 p.m. Eastern Standard, if we're seeing the futures are a bit red, right? Especially the Dow here, this can be... Um, I'm telling us, giving us signs that the market is going to sell off heading into Monday's trading session. So that's the Dow in a nutshell for today. The NASDAQ composite here, guys, you know, judging on the five day, five minute, I guess we can start on this chart for the NASDAQ, just like the S&P and the Dow. 
excuse me, this ended up breaking the 180 SMA support. We're seeing a lower high being formed and we're selling off towards the end of the market. Not looking too good here for the continuation of the uptrend on the NASDAQ for the continuation of this little bullish reversal that we've had over the past couple of days. Hopping over here to the 20 day one hour. Remember yesterday we were talking about the NASDAQ was the only one out of the three indexes that was trading above the simple moving averages on the 20 day one hour chart it was trading above both of the the simple moving averages right the 50 and the 180 and now we're noticing with the sell-off that we had today, quite a big chunk of a sell-off here, 90 points, we broke below the 50 SMA support and the 180 SMA support. So this is not looking too good, guys, in terms of the NASDAQ here. We could potentially be selling off. And again, I'm keeping an eye on the futures on Sunday, heading into the mor uh, morning on Monday to really understand where we could be pushing starting off next week and heading all you know over the uh, the rest of next week right from Monday on to Friday on the 184 hour chart here we're pretty much just holding strong above the 7500 level of support this level was an old resistance from back towards the end of March March 21st in 2019 before we saw that big sell off it was an old resistance we broke above it making it a new support right so if we do break below here it's going to make that level a new resistance again, right? And we're going to be trading pretty much between 7350 and about 7500, putting us in a about a 150 point window for the Nasdaq. So, that's pretty much it, guys. You know, today was a kind of a roller coaster. It wasn't a crazy red day um to say the least, right? It was a pretty bad red day though for the Nasdaq, but for the SPX and the Dow, it was just a slight red day a pretty slight red day nothing crazy compared to what we saw you know a couple of days ago when the S&P was down like 2.5 percent the Dow was down like 2.5 percent as well that was bloody so compared to that today was pretty decent right so let's talk about what I did in terms of my trading today, it wasn't too crazy of a day. It wasn't an eventful day really at all for me, but I only took one day trade on TQQQ, guys. TQQQ is a 3x leveraged ETF that goes up whenever the market, in specific, the NASDAQ is going up in price, right? This one trades on the NASDAQ 100, and we can see... You know, this one had quite a bit of a run this morning, and this is actually when I ended up trading it, and I did end up calling this one out in our Discord group chat, free Discord group chat, which is linked down below in the description box. So if we're just judging the movement of the NASDAQ here on the one day, one minute, we can see this nice big pop that we saw, you know, at about 930, we started to consolidate. Uh, I believe this was on that 180 SMA on the 20 day, one hour, if I do remember correctly or rather um let's take a look at this or rather yeah you can you guys can see it right here right this is pretty much where we ended up popping up it was on that 180 sma yup i am right on that and you know how that compared to tqqq you guys can see you know this one went up from about 7500 all the way up to about 7600 right and that was about a 1.25 percent move and since tqq q is a 3x lever gtf it went up about three times that amount right so if the nasdaq went up about 1.2 percent you know tqqq went up roughly you know three percent and if i remember correctly i got into tqqq I believe it was on this little pullback here. I think I got in, if I'm remembering correctly, at about like $60.30, $60.40 ish cents. You know, no joke, like right after this little this run up, I told myself next pullback, if we confirm the higher low and if the markets are still looking good, I was going to hop in. So that's exactly what I ended up doing, right? We got the pullback. I hopped in here at about 60.30. Then I ended up selling off at about 60. $61.15 is, is where I believe I ended up selling out. And you guys can see that was about a 1.2%, 1.3% profit. So that was a very quick in and out, you know, scalp trade on um, TQQQ on this market movement 
to the upside that we ended up seeing. And I pretty much timed this one perfectly, to be honest. This doesn't always happen, guys. You know, sometimes I hop in, I don't get out at the right time, then I end up giving then I end up giving some money back to the market. But today wasn't one of those days. I timed it well. And I got a 1.3% gain on a Friday, which I'm very, very happy about. And after that, you know, I kind of, you know, I was talking in the Discord chat, but I wasn't looking to trade again, right? I wasn't looking to hop into the market again unless I saw a screaming opportunity. And that's pretty much it, guys. I ended up turning off my computer, you know, at about 1, 2 o'clock, something like that. I would have caught a move here if I was watching. I'm sure TVIX went bananas when uh, the market dropped like that. And we could take a look at that very quickly for fun here. So TVIX is another one of those ETFs that I talked about in my video from earlier today one of the four that I talked about and yeah you can see from $22 this one went up to about 23 bucks so if any of you were able to catch that 5% move let me know down below in the comment section I would love to know so that's pretty much it for the trading update portion of today's video the market update portion of today's video and let's do a rundown of some stocks today that really did poorly. There weren't that many that I personally track that did very well. We saw NVIDIA yesterday, guys. Remember, they reported earnings. I was talking about how, you know, if they were to hold 165 heading into the market open or something like that, this can be a runner. Well, we ended up giving back all of the gains that we saw post earnings report we literally opened up in the 150s guys this is not too good right we ended up popping up though so this could have opened up a nice opportunity but i personally didn't take advantage of it but this is one that went from 157 up to 163 ended up selling off down into the 154 so nvidia it didn't really pan out to be as good of an earnings play as I thought it would due to the good earnings that they did end up reporting. Remember, they crushed EPS. I forget the exact numbers, but I think they beat EPS in terms of analyst expectations by about like 15%, which is very, very good um, for any stock in that matter. Maybe not for a growth stock or something, a uh, heavy growth stock or new stock, but for a stock like NVIDIA, 15% beat is good and quite frankly it, it, it's good for every stock honestly what am i saying right it's good for every stock let's be honest so nvidia tesla oh my golly guys tesla 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 man this stock has been getting hammered day after day after day after day after day i don't think it's had a stretch of a week or two where it's gone up right we can literally see 352 dollars per share is what we were at in the beginning of this year, 1 17, January 15th, the middle of January, literally about four months ago, this is where we were, $350 per share. Now we're getting down into the one or the, the maybe potentially the high 100s, uh, the 190s. We're already at the low 200s at this point. And now I'm thinking to myself, a lot of these people that were saying Tesla's going down to $200, 180 they may be right, honestly. It really is looking like they're going to be right. These bear, these bears on Tesla, these people that don't really believe in the company, um, they're pretty much right here, guys. Tesla's just been getting killed. It's down 8% right now uh, today, down about $17. But I still personally see potential in Tesla, guys. You know, Maybe not as a trade right now, maybe not as a swing trade, really not as a swing trade at all because the trend is looking terrible. Um, but I do believe in Tesla long term, right? I do believe that there is still life. There's obviously still hope in the company, right? They just need to scale out. Hopefully this China Gigafactory in Shanghai, uh, hopefully this does well for the company, right? Hopefully this, uh, this opens up opportunities overseas for Tesla, which will help them manufacture more cars, sell more cars, and hopefully this reflects on the bottom line of the company. Hopefully they start bringing in some more consistent profits. I think that's what's really killing the company, guys. You know, one one uh, quarter, they have a profit. The next quarter, they have an extreme loss, right? I think this is really hurting the stock and that's just it, guys. Honestly, once they get their stuff together in terms of nailing profits quarter after quarter, I think this stock 
will do much better. And honestly, you know, you guys remember I bought Tesla at $273. Obviously, I am massively down on my position right now, but that is a speculative position that I plan on holding for at least uh, you know, three, four, five years. So you can see I'm down about 25% on my position right now. And I haven't, I have not yet added more to that position to average down at this point. These prices are getting a little bit attractive to me, but I'm still waiting. I want to see if we get to the low, low 200s. Let's say we get to like 202, 205. I might add another 10, 15 shares, right? For, for fun, right? I might add 10 shares. And then if we get to the 180s, 170s, I may add another 10 shares and then play it from there. That's kind of how I'm viewing it. And again, this is a speculative stock for me, right? I'm typically not um, investing, especially long term, in companies that really don't have a track record of a profit, that don't really pay a dividend, right? I like investing in companies that have a lot of revenue, a lot of, not really revenue, a lot of profits, a lot of net income, and that are growing, uh, you know, their net income year over year and reinvesting that cash and producing more, right? And Tesla at this point, you know, it's not quite there yet, which is why I am still viewing it as a spec play. And that's cool, right? You know, it's a small portion of my portfolio. I'm not too worried about it whatsoever. And I do plan on adding more again, low 200s potentially, but if we get to the 170s, 180s, I will definitely be picking up um, a couple thousand bucks worth of Tesla at that point. So that's it, guys. Really, Tesla and NVIDIA, they've been getting squashed. If we're looking through some other ones, you know, Google got, pre uh, got pretty bad today, down $16. You know, Facebook down about $1.69 today. Amazon down about 2% today, you know, Apple back into the 180s today, down about a dollar and eight cents. We had this uh, IPO from China, actually, that people have been talking about, Luckin Coffee. I really don't know much about this company whatsoever, to be honest with you guys. If you know, drop a comment down below, but this is one of the new IPOs that were out on the market today. And while we're at it, let's just take a look at some other IPOs from this year for fun. You know, Uber, Uber's been doing pretty pretty uh, kind of mediocre, to be honest. If we're looking on the 180, we went down to 36. Now we're up back to 44. Now we're selling off again. This is a, um, you know, a prime example of IPOs. They go down very quickly. They may come back up really quickly. They're just very, very volatile, right? You know, another one is Beyond Meat, which is actually one of the better performing IPOs, right? Beyond Meat, this is a vegan a uh, vegan company. They're making meats and stuff like that. I actually tried their turkey burgers uh, a couple weeks ago. They're pretty good, but to be honest, guys, they are pricey as heck. Two burgers, two turkey burgers. I believe I paid like eight dollars or something like that. It's pretty pretty expensive when you can buy you know regular turkey burgers. Uh, you know, you get four or five turkey burgers for like five bucks or something like that, four or five bucks. So this is pretty pricey, but you know, the vegan community out there, they're very, very um, intense in their beliefs. And I'm sure they are willing to pay. Of course, they're willing to pay, right? Uh, a little bit more money because they are vegans and that's their you know, that's their belief, right? So I'm sure they'll be uh, paying more money for the burgers. So another one is Lyft. Lyft has been doing awful, right? $88 down to about $47. What other ones off the top of my head here? Pinterest, P-I-N-S. This one's been doing pretty bad as well from 23 up to 36, now down to 26. So I guess if you did buy on the IPO date, you would be up a little bit right now, but still not something that I'm willing to put money in. And to be honest, Pinterest, I think they're extremely late to the IPO game. They came, I feel like Pinterest has been out for years now, and I really just don't see any value whatsoever in a stock like Pinterest, in a company like Pinterest. I mean, it's a cool app, right? Uh, I think more girls than guys use it. Uh, my, my girlfriend uses it a lot. She posts a bunch of stuff on there, but I just don't personally see value in it, especially as an investment. So I'm going to wrap up the video here, guys. Again, drop a comment down below. Let me know what ticker symbols you want me to talk about on Sunday's video. If you enjoyed this video, feel free to hit that like button, drop a comment, subscribe to the channel, hit that notification bell so you're notified every single time that I do make a video. I appreciate all you guys 
for watching. It means a lot to me. Again, earlier today, I uploaded a video for ETFs that I'm trading that you should take a look at. Not trade. If you don't want to trade them, don't trade them based off of what I'm doing. But you should take a look at them anyway. Uploaded that video earlier today. Go check it out. You'll probably see it right up here on the cards or something. I hope you all have a great weekend. Peace out. I'll catch you all in the next video.